a prayer for a person who has deceived themselves and others as they do not know Him. Father God, I come before you on behalf of those who remain unsaved as they have deceived themselves and others by thinking they know our Lord and Savior. Father, they are pillars of our community, neighbors with hearts of compassion, people who do works of charitable goodness, those who hold thoughts of kindness, but they do not know Him. Father, there is loved ones and friends whom attend our churches, whom sit in our pews, whom hear words from the scriptures, but they do not know Him. Father, there is fathers, mothers, and others who for years have sat alongside us in our church, but they do not know Him. Father, there is those who stand before your people speaking words from the scriptures behind the pulpit, and from a worldly term, they are satisfied with their career, but they do not know Him. In the scriptures in Romans 10, verse 9, it is written, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Father God, I fear there are many who have not made this step of faith, of believing in their mind and in their heart that God hath raised him from the dead, and he is alive this day beside the Father. In addition, they have not made Him the Lord and Savior of their lives. Although with their mouths they have spoken the right words, they have not done so with a believing mind. In addition, they have unbelief in their heart, and they have not come to know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. They are like actors and actresses, among us with a script of playing a role of being a Christian. In the scriptures in Matthew 7 verses 21 through 23, it is written, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out demons, and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Father God, I pray for the Holy Spirit to surround this person, providing a faith that bypasses all understanding, a faith that is in their mind, a faith that is in their heart, and a faith that is in their spirit, so that they may receive the glory of redemption and the glory of salvation that comes only through our Lord Jesus I pray that this individual kneels before my Lord Jesus, making him the Lord and Savior of their soul. May praise and worship be in their hearts. May my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ receive all glory, as only he has provided the pathway to come before our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen.